Hello and welcome back to Django tutorial. In the last video, I had talked about how to create a form using API. Now I will talk about how to do the validation of Django form. Before going to start, you should watch the previous video so that you can easily understand the Django form validation. Validation is a process to validate the data entered by the user in a web application. So before going to start a discussion, just I'll brief up about what we discussed in the last video. First of all, we have created a project. I'm going to name is project one. Under the project, we have created the application one. Once we create the application one, we need to register this application under the project. So open the project folder and go to the settings.py. Under the settings.py file, we go to the install app and then we add the customized application. Once we add the customized application, Django can easily understand that the application is get registered. Once the application is get registered, then we need to set the URL for this application. So to set the URL for this application, open the URL.py file under the project and include that app1.url under the URL.py in the main project. After that, we created a template folder which consists of the application folder. Under the application folder, we are having the index.html. So we write a simple form code over here so that that display all the controls of the form under the HTML page. After that, under the application, we have forms.py which consists of these two control in the form name and email. To process this name and email, we write a business logic under the view.py. So under the view.py, we have a display form function which will be display all the content of the form under the forms.py and it will be rendered to this index.html. So now I'll execute the project using the command python manage.py run server once the project execute we will get an url copy this url and paste into the browser now you have to execute this display data url now this form content name and email i will get submit by now we have to modify certain code under the project so that we can validate this name and email again we will go back to the project code now what sort of modifications are required? One by one we'll discuss that modification. The very first thing is that we need to open the application and go to the forms.py. Under the forms.py, we have to add a clean method. We can validate the Django form using clean method. Clean method consists of different methods like validate, run validators. If at any time, any of the method read validation error, then validation stop and the error is raised. This method returns a clean data, which is then inserted into a clean data dictionary of the form. Now let us start the discussion through coding. So first of all, I write the clean method under the class app registration. So here I write the clean method having the attribute is self to the method. Under the function, we can write clean data is equal to super clean. So clean the super class. After that, we are going to change the name value so what are the name data is there under this self dot clean data so we are looking for the name as code as email data dot clean data precisely we are looking for email once we get this data into these variables then we are going to validate this data. So by using if condition, if I'm going to check the length of this name data, if it is less than three, then it will raise an error. Using the raise method, we can display the error. We can raise an error under the forms dot validation error, and then we can pass a message. Let's say the name should contain more than three characters than three characters this message will be displayed to the html page similarly we are going to handle one more error like if length of my email data is let's say less than eight then can raise an errors forms dot validation error and then it will display the message with the email 
should contain more than eight characters. So likewise, these two errors have been handled under the form dot py. Then we'll go under the views dot py, and we'll have to modify the function. Previously, it won't check whether data has been accessed through the get or post method. Now we'll check the data by using both the method get and post. So under the display form, we are going to write if request dot method is equal to equal to post. Then what we need to if that request is post, then we'll get the data into the object. Let's say fm is equal to app registration and whatever the data will process through the request.post then we need to validate this information so if that object is valid then we are going to print either data or uh, any particular message like data is validated along with if I want to print the content of the object we can print it but if that request is not post it means it is get then let it be we are going to just print the content of that object and afterwards it will render all the information onto this index.html using the object form. So this modification is required under the view.py. Now we'll go to the HTML page, index.html, and we'll modify this tag over here. So let it be, first of all, we'll add a form tag. Form, and I'm going to perform any action, then you can write it. I want to write a method, either get or post. So here I write post method. And inside the form, I'm going to just copy this content. One more thing here I'll add that is CSRF token. And let's go token. Well, these sort of modifications we need to do under the HTML page. Now the everything is added into the project. Now we'll execute the project and check whether we are getting the correct output or not. We'll just copy this URL and paste into the browser. And we are trying to execute the display URL or display data URL having the two attributes name and email. First of all, I enter the correct information Opal and uh, let's say mail ID is also Opal at the rate gmail.com and I'll try to submit it. So again, we'll go back to poll to check whether the data is correctly inserted or not. So you can find Google at Gmail is there and for name Google is there. So both the information is correctly displayed over here. Uh, we organize this information afterwards properly. I'll again go back to the browser and I'll enter the incorrect information. So it will be I just insert go only. And I'll try to submit it. So here I'll display the message. The name should contain more than three characters. So I'm not going to enter only three or less than three characters under the name. Similarly, we can validate email as well. So again, I'll back to code. And I'll do a little modification under the views of data. So instead of printing the complete object, here I'll display a proper way like I just want to print a clean data of name let's say clean data I want to display name as well as I want to display the email id proper fm dot clean data the data looking is email I'll just save the code and I'll again go back to the browser and I'll again refresh the page and enter the information. Let's say go pull and I'm going to print go pull at the rate 
email dot com. I'll just submit it. I'll go back to code to verify whether that data is correctly into the variable. So you can find Google and Google under a Gmail data is validated. So now the data is displayed properly. Previously it was an unorganized format. Now it is properly organized so that we can understand a proper data has been validated under the forms. Hope you understand that how the data is validated in a Django form. Thanks for watching this video.